Media. Thank you for joining us uh, for a few quick minutes. Uh, petang ini saya ditemani dengan tiga rakan-rakan uh, ahli parlimen, uh, Wajib Teresa Kok, Dr. Dr. Dan Kik Kok. Eh, sorry, first, I'm coming. Yeah. Last, I see him the last. <laughs> Dato Dr. Tan Ki Kong, Ali Malim Wangsa Maju, Dato Fauzi, Indra Makota and most important we want to announce the presence of an important NGO in Malaysia, C4. I'm sure you've heard of C4, right? C4. Uh, what's the C4 stand for? Centre to Combat Corruption and Cronyism. Thank you. Centre to Combat Cronyism, uh, Corruption and Cronyism. Uh, ED uh, one, uh, Sinta Gabriel accompanied with her, uh, her colleague, uh, Puan Fadia Naj Najwa. Thank you. All right. Okay. Now, uh, they have come to Parliament today to present to us as members of Parliament their latest fact sheet entitled The Scorpion Corruption Scandal. Okay, right? This is what we want to give to all of you uh, on their behalf. Uh, this is a, an important document it uh, summarizes the entire uh, Scorpion scandal right from the time uh, it became a public issue in Malaysia roughly about 2008, that's 10 years ago. Mm. This is a 10 year old story, but despite it is an important story. Yeah? And uh, today we are, we are grateful and we thank uh, C4 as for driving this issue and continuing to, be re to remain committed to it to ensure that one day we will see justice done uh, in, in, res in respect of this corruption scandal in Malaysia. The interesting thing about this corruption scandal and the one that is at, uh, taking a lot of attention now, 1MDB, is that one person is the common link. If you look at the summit in here, you can see the person. <laughs> Our Prime Minister. At that time, he was not Prime Minister. He was the Defence Minister for the country. The relevant period is 2002, where he uh, authorized the purchase of two submarines, Scorpion submarines from France, uh, which cost us at that time about 5 billion ringgit. Correct? 5 billion ringgit, roughly. So, what became a scandal in 2008 onwards and is uh, still being uh, investigated and pushed by C4 and many people, including uh, parliamentarians, is the fact that 114.9 million euros was paid as what we consider corrupt practice, a bribe basically. Of course, it was called a commission at that time, but we are calling it a bribe. And we are, we are supported by the fact that as of today, which has been ongoing for a few years, the French government, the French judiciary, and the French police are all involved in an ongoing investigation on this payment of bribes, right? Two companies, two Malaysian companies are involved. One is called Perimeka Sinai Marhat, all of you know about it, where the key people involved are Razak Baginda, it's Razak Baginda basically. Uh, another company was uncovered subsequently in the investigations in France, which is called Terasasi. Uh, the name is Terasasi. There was one Terasasi in Malaysia, it was closed down, and the second Terasasi opened in Hong Kong. And there again, uh, Razak Baginda's name is involved together with his father, uh, Baginda. Baginda, I think, yeah, Inche Baginda, right? Now, the just to update you on the investigation, uh, the French system is different from Malaysia. In Malaysia, we follow the British practice, which is when we have corrupt practice or a crime, we report to the police, or if corruption, we report to SPRM. Investigating body is SPRM. SPRM builds up a case, AG authorizes it, people get charged in court. That is the Malaysian system, like the British system. French system is a bit different. Besides the police investigating, the judiciary also can investigate. Uh, the lower half of the judiciary, you know, the magistrates, uh, the equivalent of our magistrate, Mungkin Makama Session, uh, they also have powers <coughs> to investigate. So this is what has happened in France. The, the initial investigation by the police was taken over by investigation by the judiciary. Right? So that's a very important development that started from about 2000 nine onwards and <coughs> what happened was uh, Swaram, I'm sure all of you know Swaram is an NGO, Swaram w then became a party to that investigation. Under French law, a complainant can become a party and Swaram became a complainant and uh, joined the process of the investigation, provided evidence 
and had lawyers, French lawyers, to represent it in the process. So that investigation is still going on, and this fact sheet will tell you, if you, it will tell you that the result of this investigation is that four individuals so far have been charged. Uh, maybe I should use the word indicted, sorry. The French word is indicted. They have been indicted under French law for implications in this financial scandal and are now facing the highest level of investigation. Okay, three of them are French persons. Their name is there. Uh, it starts from, the first person was indicted 2015. He's, he's the former president of Thales. Thales is the company which from which we bought the submarines. Yeah? His name is Bernard. Bioco, and then we have the second person, 2016, former CEO of DCNS, which is also involved in the supplying us the submarines, uh, Dominic Castellan. Then the third person, in 2017, we had two people indicted, former chairman of DCNS, Philip Zapio, and former chief executive of Thales. Oh, so it's actually four people there. And four, four French persons, sorry, have been indicted. And the most interesting name, it's the next name in 2017, last year in July. Inche Raza Baginda was indicted as well by the French court for complicity of bribery, acceptance of bribes, and concealment of misuse of company assets. Inche Raza Baginda, of course, still maintains that he has not been charged for an offence. Charged meaning, in the, like the Malaysian sense, you know, you are brought to court, uh, the charge sheet is read out, you plead guilty or not guilty, then you've got bail and so on. Mema, process is too. Bloom Blaku, that process has not started, but it is almost, because the French system is different, but it is almost reaching that. Yeah? So <coughs> this is like, we are sad to say, this is like the um, 1MDB scandal. The 114 million euros, which is about 570 million ringgit, not a small sum, a huge amount of money, paid at that time as bribes, is Malaysian riot money, our money, our people's money, but unfortunately, it's been being investigated, not in our country, but investigated in France by French authorities, the judiciary and so on. Likewise, in 1MDB, we find zero action in Malaysia. We have lost uh, anything up to 40 to 50 billion ringgit, much more, bigger sum. But the countries that are taking action are all Singapore, Switzerland and America. Yeah. So, uh, we want to share this fact sheet with the uh, media today, so that you can write about it. And um, C4, can I invite you to say something quickly about this? Anything you want to add about this uh, fact sheet?